Welcome back to Gas Diesel Garage, y'all. My name is Jack, and I'm here to show you my rat rod car hauler trailer build that I'm doing at the house. Um, so far, let me show you what we've done. Now, before I get started, make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me I'm a douchebag, tell me I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anyways, good press, or bad press is good press, I guess you can say doesn't matter start talking about me that's all right I got thick skin I can take it now since the last episode I decided I went ahead and painted this thing yes I rattle can the whole thing and uh, no I am NOT a painter by trade but I know how to tag stuff just kidding but what we're gonna do today is well, first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear coat that whole thing. Don't want my custom paint job to get messed up, so let's just go ahead and clear it up. So I don't think you need to have any special training to do uh, clear coat on something, but uh, Dupla Color got me covered. Went ahead and got me my little cheap Harbor Freight uh, paint gun. No sweat. Now that we got done clear coating this thing now we just need to wait for this thing to dry for about an hour and see what it looks like so uh, the reason why I didn't paint that is because I need to figure out somehow on how to integrate my uh, 60 style uh, taillights that I got off an old 60s t-bird so uh, yeah that's what we're gonna do all right, now the next thing to do is we're gonna put the floor in. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good for a uh, cheap paint job by yours truly. And no, I am not a professional painter by any means, but it's a rat rod, it's not supposed to be perfect, right? Right, right. So, uh, let's get to it and start putting this floor in. Okay, now that I got the floor in how I want it. Now I gotta weld up my braces here, my angle iron, and uh, yeah, we'll just we'll go from there. Well, I guess welding is gonna be out for right now because I ran out of welding wire. So uh, we're just gonna keep going and put the floor in. We'll come back to welding that. I tacked it, so everything should come out straight could be pretty simple just drill a bunch of holes and put them long ass bolts in it zip it up from the bottom and get this thing secured and I'm not gonna bore you with drilling every single one of these holes and showing and talking to you so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna time-lapse everything and uh, I'll see you in a little bit
I'm doing here now is I want to dovetail that. So easiest way to do that is to get yourself some cardboard like I did here and uh, measured inch by inch to get my clearance on what I want to do. So let's go this down here. This is at two inches right now. Ugh. Not really touching the ground yet, but uh, let's go maybe two and a half. Maybe that'll work. Cause I want that thing to sit on the ground. All right, now that I got my stuff all measured out, I just need to cut that out. And then what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna take that piece that I cut out and use it as a template to go on both sides. So I can have everything pretty much the same. Let's get to cut. out there Ooh, ooh hot, hot, hot. now I'm gonna use gonna use that as a template for the inside of that and on the other side so uh, can I have everything the same Okay, now that I got my two inches cut out of that, and on the other side, as you can see there, now we can just drop the jack and see how low this thing really goes. All right, exactly how I wanted to sit on the ground. Now it's just time to weld all that stuff up right there. Get the show on the road. Okay, got those panels in. That's a good deal. Now I just gotta focus in on this. You see we do dovetailed it earlier, but I kinda don't like how this is sitting straight down like that because that's gonna house my tail light. So I wanna take that thing and then move it up just a little bit, kinda flush, so you can see the tail lights. But it's facing the ground right now, so just cut a little slit in there and then lift it up we should be good Now that I got that section all uh, traced out on some cardboard, 
gonna sit in there just like this. Well, something like that. But what I need to do now is trace this out on some metal, cut it on out, stick it in the wedge right there, weld this stuff on off, and make it look like it was supposed to be that way. Now the best way I'm gonna get that shape is to cut off part of the excess that I cut off the trailer already. So what I'm gonna do is just cut that straight square and then diagonal cut it, diagonal cut it, and that should get my shape. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. Now these things are gonna go in here like that. You know, weld this in and that should give me my ground clearance so I don't scrape the ground. What I'm gonna do is hold this thing in place. My magnet here will... There we go. All right. 